guys, welcome back to ABOC Studio with Natalie. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this attachable bunny ears. I have a whole other in-depth tutorial for this balaclava and I put a link to that video right in the description down below, okay? So this video is only for these ears and I'm going to show you step by step how to make it. We call them attachable ears because we can detach like this. And when you want, you can put them back on with this button system. So let's do it. We're going to use the same yarn that we use for our balaclava. If you want to know more information about this yarn, then you should go to my previous video. I put a card right here on the screen or you can click on the link I put in the description, okay? Then I'm going to use this velvet yarn for edging. We're going to use 45 millimeter crochet hook. Then as usual, we're going to need scissors, yarn needle, then we're going to need a sewing needle with a little bit of thread like this, okay? And we're going to need two 15mm button. And then for beginners, I recommend you to have two stitch markers like this. I'm using bobbin pin instead because it's more convenient, okay? Okay, first we're going to make a chain of seven and to make a chain, first we need a slip knot. So this is the tail of the yarn, this is your working yarn. You're going to make a loop with your fingers like this and then pull the working yarn through that loop to make a slip knot. Now put the slip knot on your hook and close it. To make chain, you simply yarn over and pull through. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay? Now we're gonna start half double crochet and the first half double crochet we're gonna we're gonna place it in the second chain, okay? So this is the first chain and this is the second chain. This is the bottom loop and this is the top loop. We're gonna insert our hook under this top loop, okay? Now to half double crochet you yarn over, insert your hook to the second chain under the top loop, draw our loop to have three loops on your hook okay now yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook that's your first half double crochet and because the first half double crochet it's built right next to a chain that's why it's gonna be a little bit weird the top of the stitch would uh, lean to the right like this so for beginners I recommend you to mark the first stitch so on the next row you won't skip it okay so just put it here like this okay that's your first half double crochet now we're gonna work half double crochet into each of this chain until the end okay so to the next chain At this point, you should have six half double crochet on this row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and on the second row, we're gonna work half double crochet into each of the stitch. Okay, so here you can see this is your first half double crochet stitch, and on top of it, you can see little V's. So you wanna place your next stitch under the V right on top of the stitch okay so yarn over insert your hook under the V draw our loop and yarn over pull through okay now again mark your first stitch because the first stitch always build next to a chain one that's why it's gonna look different from the other stitch and for beginners you should mark it so you won't miss it at the next row okay and now you just half double crochet into each of the stitch until the end okay okay you can see here that you mark your last stitch so you take the stitch marker out and you're gonna place the last half double crochet in there okay okay so in the end of this second row you should still have six half double crochet 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now chain one. Turn your work and work the first half double crochet in here. Okay. Then mark your first half double crochet just to make sure you remember it. Next row. And then on this next stitch, we're going to work two half double crochet in the same place. So two half double crochet. Okay, now we're going to work half double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, one and two. And for this next stitch, we're going to work two half double crochet into the same place. So two half double crochet in the same place. And then for this last stitch, we're going to work ha one half double crochet as normal, okay? Then again, we're going to chain one, turn our work and work half double crochet into each of this stitch for this next row. Don't forget to mark your first stitch, okay? This last stitch. Chain one, turn your work and then on this next round, we're going to work half double crochet into the first stitch. Mark your first stitch. And then for the next stitch, we're going to work two half double crochet in there, okay? In the same place. And for the next, we're going to work half double crochet into the next four stitches, okay? So one, two, three, and four. Okay, then on this next one, we're gonna work two half double crochet in the same place. And then one double crochet into the last one one half double crochet into the last one okay at the end of this round you should have 10 half double crochet on the row okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay now chain one turn your work work one half double crochet into each of the stitch all until the end and repeat the process, okay? Okay, so at this point you should still have 10 half double crochet on your last row okay and now we're gonna go on to our first row of decreasing so you're gonna chain one turn your work and then work your first half double crochet okay then mark this first stitch so that you won't forget it the next row now we're gonna skip this next stitch okay so we're not gonna work in there we're gonna work in the one next to it okay so yarn over, insert your hook, draw our loop. Remember, the loops on your hook should always stay close to the sides of the hook, okay? And then yarn over, pull through all of it, okay? So you skip a stitch and then work in the next. Now we're gonna work half double crochet into each of this stitch and then we're gonna skip the stitch right next to the last stitch here, okay? So work half double crochet all the way And then here we're gonna skip this 
stitch right next to the last one we skip it and then work to the last stitch here and then you're gonna chain one turn your work and then work first half double crochet into this one mark your first stitch then we're gonna skip this next stitch work in the next one and then work in the three next stitch and then again skip the stitch right next to the last stitch and work in the last stitch okay so work in where you mark it now at this point you should have six half double crochet left on your row so one two three four five six okay chain one turn your work and then on this next round we're gonna work half double crochet into all stitches okay so one half double crochet Mark it so that you won't forget it. Okay, now chain one, turn your work, and then work half double crochet in the first one, skip this next one, work in the two next stitches. And then skip the stitch right next to the last stitch work in the last stitch okay I forgot to mark this first stitch so mark it just to make sure okay skip this next one work in the last one turn your chain one turn your work and then on this round, we're going to work half double crochet in the first stitch, skip this next stitch and work in the two last stitch, okay? And that's it. Now we're gonna bind off. You're gonna you're gonna chain one and then cut. Pull this out and then seal it. Okay. Now we're gonna go on to our edging. I'm using this velvet yarn, but you can use any yarn you want even the same color of yarn okay I'm gonna insert this new yarn into this right here this is where we start crocheting and I'm gonna insert it right in here okay in this corner so put your hook in there and bring the yarn out of it and now tie this just make a simple knot, basic knot and tie it, okay? Now insert your hook in the same place, draw our loop, you chain one, okay? From now we're gonna work single crochet for edging, okay? And you're gonna insert your hook right in the next loop that you see on the way of this piece, okay? So for single crochet you simply insert your hook into the next loop that you see draw our loop to have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through that's one single crochet now again into the next loop that you see and the next one and the next one and this one so you can see that on the size of the piece, the edge doesn't look nice and even. So it's going to be hard to say where to insert your hook, but you will see the next loop to insert your hook. So just insert your hook uh, where you feel like it's the next loop and there's no 
right or wrong way to do this. It will turn out fine as long as you go for the next loop that you see on the way, okay? So, you just insert your hook, draw out a loop, yarn over, pull through. And then here. Just gonna work your last single crochet into the same place that you did at first and then we're gonna bind off by chain one cut it and pull too close and that's it this is our ear and now you're gonna fold this part see this is the tip of the ear and this is the root. You're gonna fold this in half like this and then sew this here, okay? So you're gonna use maybe this one, put it in the yarn needle and then sew it. So that it closes in half, okay? In the end, you're just gonna leave a loop like this, put it in the loop, close it, and then weave this end back, back into um, the stitches of its color, okay? And then you can cut it. Okay. Now before I show you how to sew this button here, um, let's weave all these ends into the piece, okay? in before you cut it remember to uh, stretch the piece out a little bit just to position the all these ends that you weave in okay and then cut the ends in this last one So now I'm going to show you to how to sew this button. You're going to sew it right where you fold this uh, roots in half. So when you have your second ear, you should put them together like this. And remember the button should face each other like this, okay? So if you sew this button here, then this one goes here. And you take your sewing needle. Remember to put a knot in the end of this thread so that it stay on this fabric. You're gonna put it here and then you're just gonna sew this button into this place, okay, like this. And when 
you don't remember to seal this thread I like to do this and then just goes a few times cut and then we're done okay let's put it on our black clava okay so I'm gonna show you how to put the ears on the black clava okay so because it's crochet there's a lot of hole and this is why we need a 50 millimeter button because it's gonna fit in the half tap crochet hole on your balaclava and just put it where you feel like it's good and then do the same to the opposite ear and you can wear it on to see if it looks nice and even on both sides 